Welcome back guys to another Dividend Express video. Today we're going to be talking about um, how to get in started investing, how to get started investing on Robinhood specifically. Um, if you're new to investing, how to do it. Um, that that's that's pretty much it. Let's let's get it. Let's get straight into Robinhood. So, as you can see, I I've, I've been investing uh, a couple months here on Robinhood. Personally, I found that this is the app that I like the most, and um, I'm I'm kind of new to it, but I I learned it down to a science now because it's so unbelievably simple. This is just what my last three months have looked like. Overall, I'm up $103, and uh, I'm happy with that. Uh, we can take a look over an overview at my uh, my stocks. Uh, we'll, we'll take a look at everything, really. So, right here at the very top, um, the, it shows you uh, my investing balance, everything that I all all the money I have in and what it's worth if you click at the very start you can see what I initially started with 2413 what I have now 2515 uh, you can see where it says buying power I have 11 cents so if you uh, you click on it you can you can deposit funds um, right here um, furthermore we have right right underneath this like where it says price price movement six minutes ago so this is where all the stocks you either have like on a list or you bought um you're you're looking at or just big big like stock hits that are doing good or articles on them stuff like that show up here and um uh, as you can see i'll just i'll swipe across them so you can you can just look at them um, they're all pretty good. And then once you go through them, you can just click start over, and we're we're back at the top. I don't. It's like five to nine of them. Sometimes you run out of them completely. They they refresh quite often. Um, here's all my stocks. I like I like to keep it diversified because I don't have a lot of money to be risking. I don't have any money to re be risking really. So all the money I'm putting in here, I'm trying to be as safe as possible with. So I'm diversifying it as much as I can. And uh, I'm looking for long-term growth. I'm not looking for a quick double my money because those are more risky. And I'm also looking for high dividend paying stocks, stuff like that. So um, that's the way I look at it. That's the way I do it. So we'll just scroll through all the stocks that I own now. IVR is, uh, don't buy that many. That one was, that, that's probably my biggest mistake but I'm dollar cost averaging down to get myself out of a hole that that spike today we'll look at it right here because that I bought it today this is I bought it down here really was liking it up here no I'm not so much here you can see I have a 403 we're not the farthest away I have I only lost 23 dollars this is probably the stock I've lost the most money on so far actually but like if this goes down anymore, I'm going to be losing a lot more and probably sell out and just have a loss of like 40 bucks. I don't want, actually, that's a lie. I'm just going to hold on to it almost no matter what until it, I might sell like half of it. It's looking like it might go bankrupt or something, but it's got a decent dividend yield. So as long as it's paying that, I think it'll hold it because it'll cover the cost of it going down and potentially make me profit. And if it grows, like this is a long-term stock. So like, it, it got hit hard by covid and uh it's a mortgage company houses are gonna have to start paying rent again um yeah that's about it they're, they're gonna be safe this probably won't fully recover for a long time but it, it'll recover at some point eventually so yeah that's a, that's it's not the worst thing i've ever done this one's dumb. I didn't even look into it. I just, uh, I looked into it a little, but I just, I threw just th 27 cents in at a time and now I have 135 of them, but that's, I don't do dumb things that often. All of these have been planned out pretty much. So yeah, this, this is all my, all of my shares. The only one I have fractional in is Tesla cause that's a $1,122 stock. So underneath all the stocks that you do own, you have lists. So you can see my first list. That's 
will pop up. It'll have some recommendations in it for you when you start, and then you can start adding to it. Then I have lose, the ones I plan on losing soon, buy, and then my uh, dividends that I am looking at currently. And then uh, video idea uh, ones, but those are all been used. Uh, what else? So then this cash management stuff, it does offer, you, you can get a card. I, I do have a spot in line. I think that, I just think the card looks absolutely sick and I only have one debit card right now. So like it cannot hurt to have two and it looks so cool. I'll feel badass. It's a plus plus. My money earns me money. It's insured. Uh, flex flexibility, full flexibility. And then, yeah, don't pay fees at 75,000 plus ATMs. That's actually fantastic right there. So I'll take that. And because currently my card, there's a one that I, in my like county, so that that be what it is uh we go to profile um and you can see this stuff um th this is where this is what's cool so it shows you the percentage of stocks versus etfs versus like options and cryptocurrencies that you have so uh obviously like stocks and etfs are the main ones options can be main if you know how to do that but don't don't do that if you're a beginner don't don't really get into that that's where you lose all your money if you're not smart about it and then cryptos i don't mess with too much there probably are some that are smart to get in on right now but i'll have to look in into that in the future i haven't really just i haven't got into that yet down here it shows you more specifically what your stocks are broken into. Um, you can see I'm 48% into finance, which is a little bit out of my comfort zone. I don't like being so much into finance, but it is something kind of smart to be in. Like I, it's a lot of banks and mortgage companies, so it's not it's not terrible. Manufacturing and materials, 23%. I'm I'm happy with that. That's a good percentage for that. Um, if we click ETFs, we can see yeah, most of them. Are, index ETFs sector advanced strategy not much other stuff there options I don't, I don't got any in crypto I don't I don't got any and uh, messages here it shows you everything you bought sold orders that are pending stuff like that um, works absolutely great you can ask it questions here uh, depending on what's happening and it, it all works fantastic now that the main part um, about why why Robinhood is quite great. So you click search, and then you, you click search up here. And you can literally search anything, uh, any stock symbol, and it'll it'll come up. Tesla. You don't know this. You don't. You want to invest in airlines. You don't know stock symbol. Just search air. All the airlines will come up. Uh, United Airlines, American Airlines, Delta Airlines, Southwest, Spirit. Jet Blue Alaska. Actually, I need to look at Alaska. Eh, why not? Maybe, maybe we can get you guys your uh, first first small buy. Cuz y'all should probably diversify as well. I don't I, I'd be only buying one of these cuz this is expensive and I just want to take a look at it. Um I might, might be making a video on this. That one does not look bad. I'm going to have to like look more look more into it. But from my previous lookings at other uh, airlines, I do remember Alaska ranking high in a lot of things. They don't have the most like most air traffic, but they're, they're stable as all hell. Like great balance sheet. How many things are going to pop up? How many notifications am I going to get during this video? I could probably use do not disturb or something. But uh, popular lists here. Um, it's fantastic. It shows you all the, the best things that you can pretty much get into. You, you click one. So like 100 most popular is great for beginners. Uh, top movers is interesting for beginners. Um, 
index ETFs are great way to diversify. Absolutely fantastic, although they're a little expensive. But you're getting in like 500, 600 businesses at a time, sometimes only 100 though. Uh, and then other stuff like ma manufacturing and materials. It'll show you a list of a bunch of stocks. I mean, obviously there's so many more. There's options to change it. You can, I don't know what symbol does, but you can like price down, price up, and filter it by price, filter it by percentage change on the day, stuff like that. Then more articles, stuff here, um, top movers here, uh, and then more, more article stuff. Yeah, I think that's all that's here. Yeah, I've never scrolled down that far. Fair enough. Um, and yeah, this will be where you spend most of your time. Uh, if if you haven't got Robinhood yet and you want one free stock for downloading it and two more free stocks for downloading Weeble, although that one's a little bit of a waste of your time, I wouldn't really worry about it. I would say just stick with Robinhood. Um, use the link in my description. You'll get a free stock. I'll get a free stock too. They average about $10, although I the, I have got one from my best friend, actually. I finally got him after like weeks of persuasion to download Robinhood, and I got a $4 stock, although he got like a $16 one. So yeah, that averages out to $10, but I, I got the short end of the stick. But I, I, honestly, that's good because he needed a step in the door. It, it gave him encouragement to continue investing. So uh yeah, download um, Robin Hood. Use the link in my description. We'll both get a free stock. Uh, everyone else, thank, th thank you uh, for watching. I love you all. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Subscribe, like, comment. Au